Hi, Minnie san, konnichiwa. In this lesson, we are looking at how to say from and till in Japanese. However, before we even talk about how to do it, um, I would like to ask you to start getting your notes ready and copy down the headings as we go. Feel free to pause the video when you need some more time. Now, before we even discuss how to say from and till in Japanese, you probably could have guessed from my, um, from my title page. It has something to do with kara and made. But before we move on, we have to first under, um, understand, firstly understand the grammatical concept behind the words like from and till. Now, in English grammar, um, when we talk about words like from and till, we are dealing with this um, kind of concept called prepositions. Now, prepositions are words that precede another word. Okay, that's hence the, um, hence the term prepositions. Okay, it's position before another word. So below on this slide, I have a uh, very brief um, definition of what a preposition is. So a preposition is a word, and usually it's a very common or small word that shows some idea in relation to direction, location, or time, or even introduces the object. So words like to, you know, to uh, in a letter to you, at, at the door, or time, by noon, okay? All these words like to, at, by, um, it introduces to the, um, to the reader um, the specific direction, location, and time and concept. So, what example? What is an example of a preposition in English? Okay, you'll be very surprised as how many there are. This is not the exhaustive list. There are a lot more, but these are the common ones we use in our daily life. Okay, at, by, for, for from, in, of, onto, against, around, because of. All these words we use without thinking. But if you look at the grammatical placement, um, the, sen the, the I guess the, the placement of the word in relation to a sentence, it always precedes the word it relates to. Okay, so for example, the word on top of the mountain, okay, on top of is a preposition that tells you what the location is, which is the mountain. Okay, on top of the mountain. So you will notice that I've highlighted the pre in preposition. Because in English, prepositions are meant to go before the, the keyword. However, in Japanese though, these words become postpositions. They don't go before the keyword, but rather they come after the keywords. So for example, to say on top of the mountain in English, if you, trans if you are to translate that literally to Japanese, it wouldn't make sense. You have to say mountain on top of. Okay, you have to change the word order for that to um, make sense in the Japanese grammar. So please make sure you note down this key concept that prepositions in English are in fact postpositions in Japanese. Okay, so I hope you now have a clearer idea as to what um, a preposition is in the future when I reference to it, and also how, how it works in Japanese grammar. So let's start with the first subheading, from. Okay, the word from one o'clock, from, from school, from the top of the mountain. Okay, this preposition in Japanese is translated to kara, and it goes after the, the word. So I can see Mount Fuji from my school. Okay, Mount, I can see Mount Fuji. Fuji-san ga miemasu. But more specific details of um, location is from my school. Then this is what a sentence should look like. My school first, and then from the post position in, um, in Japanese, kara. Gakko kara fuji san ga miemasu. Gakko kara fuji san ga miemasu. So you notice the word order is completely back to front. Let's have a look at other two examples. School is from 8.45. Okay, I know it's not natural to say this. You tend to say school starts at 8.45, but this is another way of saying it. Gakkouwa from 8.45. Gakkouwa hajiji yonju gofun kara desu. Okay, the school is 8.45 kara desu. All right, how about this one? From what day of the week, which day of the week is Easter holiday? 
Now, you wouldn't know holiday as yet, but Easter no Yasumi is Easter holiday. Yasumi is holiday, which is one of the key words you will learn this unit. Easter no Yasumi wa Nanyobi kara Nanyobi kara desu ka? So, from is kara. As long as you remember where the kara goes, it goes after the actual word, then you'll be sweet. So remember, from is kara. Feel free to copy down some of the examples, or um, if, if you're comfortable, you can just move on to the next one. So now we've dealt with from, how about the word till? Now to say till or until something, on some time, we use the word made. Made. The example in Japanese, what do you think this means? Konsato wa nanji made desu ka? Konsato wa nanji made desu ka? Konsato wa concert desu. So the question is asking, until what time is the concert? So this is not a word saying, hey, what time does the concert finish? Finish, okay? Konsato wa nanji made desu ka? Now have a look at the second one, okay? This time it's not just about time, it's about location as well, okay? Densha wa Tokyo made desu. You're standing at the platform and you're pointing at the densha, saying, densha wa Tokyo made desu. What do you think this means? That's right, literally translates to the train goes till Tokyo, but implies that Tokyo is its final destination. Okay? Now, sometimes you want to ask, hey, does this train go to Tokyo? You can say, Densha wa Tokyo made ikimasu ka? Does it go? Ikimasu ka? Okay, now how about the third one? Okay, we're combining from and till in one sentence. Can you figure out what this sentence is talking about? Gakko wa hajiji han kara sanji jippu made desu. That's right. It means the school it starts from 8.30 and goes till 3.10. Excellent. So that's it for today. Um, once you have finished copying down the notes, you might want to just go over it to make sure you're comfortable with the kara made usage, and then you can move on to the next lot of exercises. Ja, sayonara.